on, guys. Let's have some Earth style quarantine fun. All right. Up in the house doing as I'm told. My clothes. Hmm. <gasps> I'm trying on my clothes that oh. I haven't been oh. sold. <laughs> what the heck? Wow. I'm gonna microwave a book. Ooh. Yeah, why not? Gonna oh. use the indoor pond. Ooh, that's hot. Nuka potato, see a burn oh. look, it's a domino. <laughs> quarantine, baby, yeah, quarantine. Holy. Doing secret research, purge the history. Quarantine, baby, yeah, quarantine. Look out. Spray. where I learned life's most important skills and where you're gonna learn the lessons you need to survive in my world. Survive? Your world is soft, Anne. Yeah, I mean, the animals don't even try to disembowel you. Yeah, we don't need no stinking tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed. I've come up with a specific task for each of you. First up, Polly. You need to control your temper. It's drawing too much attention and we're trying to keep a low profile. I say what I want when I want! Maybe in Wartwood, but not here. Your mission is to go into that store and build a custom plushie without fighting anyone. <laughs> Child's play. Sprint, you can't touch everything or you're gonna lose a limb. But there's so many new surfaces and textures. Your mission is to walk through that gallery of art installations without touching any of them. Eh, looks simple enough. Finally, Hot Pop. You need to stop taking free stuff. In my world, everything has a price. Then why do they call it free, Anne? Hmm? Because they think I'm gullible and easily scammed? Yep. Oh, well, that's actually pretty clever. Your mission is to make it through Kiosk Alley without falling for any free scams. <laughs> I'll be watching all of you from up here. You have 20 minutes to complete your missions. And if one of us screws up? then you can't be trusted to leave the house. Ever. Since when did you set the stage? Scatter! Ah! Oh boy. Oh no. Sprig, Boon Choi, and three, two, one. No, Sprig, bad Sprig, what are you doing? Squirming my way into your mom's heart by making this food truck disappear! Not on my watch! Ned, I don't have time for this nonsense. Um, but your note said... Note? What note? Wait, Mrs. B? Pink frog! Huh? Your food truck! Hmm? <gasps> Holy crab apple! When did we start moving? Okay, I've never driven a car, but I have driven Bessie and played 900 hours of Super Wild Kart. And look out! Uh, uh, brakes! Gotta match the brakes! The brakes aren't working! Ned! It's okay, Ann. I got this. Whoa, girl! Whoa! Dude, it only works on sales! <laughs> ah! You! Huh? Oh! <laughs> Thanks for letting me borrow your TV. Just be careful. This thing is like a son to me. Junior! Ah! Adia, Sprig, I need your help. Use that tongue and help me make a hard left. Got it.
believe it. We did it! I don't believe this. Me either. You sent your daughter to destroy my truck? What are you people insane? Anne had nothing to do with this. It was all me. I was just... Uh, I just wanted to be a part of the family. But I should have respected your boundaries instead of pestering you into something you didn't want. <sighs> it's okay, Pink Frog. I mean, Sprig. I know how much you mean to my daughter and how much she means to you. I probably shouldn't have treated you like such an outsider. <laughs> I feel like an outsider, too. I love your restaurant so much. I just wanted to be part of it, but, but I was wrong. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm done trying to get your recipes. I just realized this is a gross appropriation of your culture, and I should just show myself out. <sighs> Ned, look, I can't give you the recipes because they are for family only, but we could use some help with deliveries. D deliver Me? I mean, it wouldn't pay much, but you will be part of the restaurant. Yes, I'd love to. Oh, you will not regret it, Mrs. Boonjoy. Not for a second. <laughs> Yay! I'll make you guys proud. Oh, man, I gotta get these bricks fixed. Well, I guess we're all done here. Not so fast. If you think you're getting out of here without an earful, you've got another thing coming. Firstly, how dare you disobey me? Secondly, how dare you put Anne and yourself in danger? Thirdly, why are you smiling? You're... you're scolding me, which means... Yep, you're family now, bud. <laughs> Yay! Already having second thoughts about this. I'll pick you up at six. Have fun, but also learn. Uh. Whoa, looks like you guys used to have a monster problem, too. Uh. Wait, your people think the world is round? Wow. I like these guys. They get it. See, we can have a fun one-off just like we did in Amphibia. Anne, Anne. What? You gotta take a break from all this research. Don't worry, HP, I'm fine, I'm fine. Burning yourself out isn't gonna help us get home to Amphibia. Amphibia? Yeah, that's what I said. No, look! Call me crazy, but that looks like... One of us! I don't believe it. Could this be the clue we've been looking for? Huh? Didn't expect to see frogs in here, eh? Ah! What's frogs, huh? Oh, you're talking about the pod. Sure, what'd you think I was talking about? Name's Dr. Jan. I'm a curator here and an avid lover of all things ancient. Why'd you wink at me? So, staring at this pot, eh? Interesting, isn't it? The frog here is depicted in a very unconventional fashion. Bipedal! Oh! It must have been some kind of deity. Huh, you don't say. Maybe it's a frog-shaped alien, right? From another dimension. <laughs> what? Frog-shaped? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm really into cryptids. You know, UFOs and stuff. Anyway, you got any other questions? Do you know anything about portals to other... Nope, not at all. Actually, I hate history and museums. Yuck. Oh, that's too bad. And kind of insulting. Well, if you change your mind, just holler, Dr. John, and I'll fly in like an information superhero. Uh, Dr. John, away! Bloodthirsty Predator meets All-American Engineering in Fumigator 4. You know, Anne, it 
it really is remarkable how much you have grown. Aw, thanks, Mom. I mean, you used to be so irresponsible. Like, change the grade on your report card irresponsible. <laughs> Didn't think you guys knew about that. But you really changed. And you have been so upfront and honest with us this whole time. Right. Upfront and honest. We're just so proud of you. Come here, sweetie. Bring it in. Ugh. Hey, I'm uh, gonna go get some coffee ice cream. Anyone want any? Sprint? Eh, I'm good. Whoa! Oh, hey, what gives? I can't do this anymore. What? Eat coffee ice cream? I agree, it's pretty risky after five. No, my folks. I never told them about Andreas or the robot hunting us or the honking invasion. Ugh. They think I'm being upfront and honest, but I'm not. But you said this was the only way they'd be okay with any of this. I know, but it's not right. I'm gonna tell them everything right now. Great. Mom, Dad, there's something I have to tell you. What is it, sweetie? <sighs> well, the thing is... <laughs> What the heck was that? Huh? And what's going on? Get down! Everyone upstairs, move! Quick, into my workout room. Okay, we can head out here while we... Uh... Mom, this is not a workout room. Yes, it is. When I thought you ran away, it's where I work out all my stress. Wait, why is this one dressed like a doctor? A mom can dream, can't she? Why do I get the feeling I'm not living up to your expectations? Multiple hand boon joys confirmed. It's after you? What? Eliminated. <laughs> okay. Me? There's a couple of things I haven't told you guys. Well, it was no suspicion <laughs> island. What did you say? I thought the protagonist was pretty fun. I like Tisha was very flawed and had room to grow. <gasps> <laughs> Guys, there's a secret agent after us. We have to find a way out of this place without him finding... Tell me, are you folks from the area or just visiting? <laughs> oh, how I love a good chase. I think we lost him. Great, but don't stop. Wait, stop! <laughs> I think I just won something. They're watching the exit. We need to find another way out. We're coming in to help. No, I don't want you getting in trouble. We can handle it. Tell her we are adults and we know what we're doing. And your mother says, hang on, I'm putting you on speaker. Okay, let's see, how do we do this? What? Oh, whoops, I think I accidentally... Oh, hi, Grandma. Yeah, I just had a sandwich. Mom, Dad, just stay in the car where it's safe. We'll meet you outside. Bye, Grandma, love you. Ha, <laughs> that tickles my brain. How do we get them out? They're cornered. I have an idea. Not only how to get them out, but to deal with these agents, too. Quick, to the pet store. Ah, honey, take it easy. Okay, okay, get it together, Anne. Think. So what we're going to need to do first is... Hmm? Hide! <laughs> well, this is getting fun. Oh, crud, it's a dead end. Ah, classic. Everyone, hide. <laughs> now, what could this be? What the? Now, guys! Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> what even are you? And why are you so slimy? Ugh. Rude. Black. Yahoo! Yeah. 
Jenny, you're not gonna believe this. They're big, beautiful, talking frog monsters. Call in the troops. In the name of justice, your reign of terror is over, Bufferfish. Why fight me, Tarantula, when you shall join me? What? Like me, you'll never be accepted by this world. If that is my fate, then so be it! <laughs> you will never be loved. All this time! He's a monster! I don't care what you are. To me, you're a hero. Mother, father, I finally found my home. <laughs> and that was to rant to lad, the world I call home. Quite possibly the finest film ever made. I, I've never seen anything like that. So moving, so inspiring. Uh, I wish I could be lovingly embraced by all of humanity. No can do, dude. Low profile, remember? I know, I know, but it's not fair. You got to make your mark in Amphibia. That's because in Amphibia, we weren't in hiding. Ugh, fine. I still can't believe you guys actually liked that movie. It was stuffed with predictable tropes and lazy writing. We have got to cut back on your internet use. All I'm saying is that you'd have to be pretty dense to think any of that would be possible. First of all, the idea that a vigilante would be given free reign. He was just a mild-mannered frog boy who never made a fuss. But he was destined to be something more. Who knows how long he's got left on Earth? But it's time to put his mark on the world and be adored by all! Alright, Earth. Get ready to meet... Frogman! Hey, Sprig, did you see... What are you doing? I'm fulfilling my destiny as Frogman, your neighborhood superhero. You mean neighborhood attention seeker. The only thing I seek is justice. Hop, hop, and away! You're never gonna solve systemic societal problems with a sock on your head! Watch me! Welcome wow. to Hollywood. Impressive, right, HP? Why, it's almost as if your world actually respects actors. Respects them? Ha! Huh. Around here, people worship actors as gods. If only that were me. I know my acting career didn't really pan out, but maybe I'd have a shot in this world. Possibly, but Mr. X is after us and he's seen you, so we need to keep a low profile. He's gone. He's what? Hollywood, here I come! Oh. <laughs> you know what? I do not have the energy for this. <laughs> oh. Oh. No. oh, I am so sorry. Ah, don't worry about it. Happens a lot at these old fogey auditions. What? Auditions? Are you all actors? Guilty as charged. Still waiting for my big break, though. Humphrey Westwood, nice to meet you. You an actor, too? Oh, it's only my singular passion. I'm Hoppadiah Planner. Say, I thought I knew all the senior male actors around here. You from out of town? Yep, way out of town. What, like Sacramento or...? Okay, are you Humphrey Westwood? Me? No. Why, do we look alike? <gasps> Papadaya, you should audition. 
Go ahead, take my spot in line. Oh, no, no, I couldn't. Nonsense! Uh, this town could be harsh on newcomers, so consider this a welcome to Hollywood from me to you. Well, if you insist. Wow! All right, I'll set the scene for you. You got this elbow cream, right? You put it on, you feel like brand new. You're so surprised, you say... Oh! Wow! Great! Mm, no, not feeling it. Such a shame, too, because everything else about you is literally perfect. Say what? <laughs> <gasps> that is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Everyone, we've got a new catchphrase. Something on the greens. It might be slightly snowing for 70 degrees. Regardless of your hemisphere, the holidays are wow. And with them come the tidings of this special time of year. A bucket of fried chicken, a costume for your dad, a demon who will stuff you. A sack if you've been bad. Use some mannequins. A reindeer gets promoted. An old man confronts his fear of karma and mortality. The special time of year. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever Eat gets cookies. you through. Yeah. Whatever lets you know that I am feeling this with you. If you believe it's special. That's what makes it special. It's a special. It's a special. It's our special. <laughs>